Hi, Antonio here with Bulgarian.com. We're going to be doing a quick little test, a weight capacity test with these, with this slider. This slider and this one is the same one, but this one has two 9 volt batteries in here. This one has a 12 volt battery on the outside, making it possible for you to just remove it really quick and add another one. This one, you can basically do the same thing if you really wanted to because that's the DC uh, jack right here. But the cool thing about this one is that you don't have to have an external battery. They're already in here and you can pull those out at any time and, um, and you know, re replace them with fully charged batteries in the middle of whatever, you know, if you're shooting. Um, you can also use a DC input jack with a, uh, with a converter. or adapter, I guess they call them, instead of converter, and this is 12 volts. You should have at least one and a half amps, one to two amps, um, and it'll give you more torque. But what we're going to do right now is just leave it with the two batteries that are in there. They haven't been recharged in a while, but you know, you'll know you see that it does, it does quite well. We have seven and a half pounds, as you can see here, so we're gonna go ahead and start it. Now some of the vibrations that you're hearing is coming from the slider, not the motor. I'm going to set this so it doesn't uh, pivot. So that's, that's seven and a half. And so we're going to do another two and a half. So that's 10 pounds right there. Once again, that's on the batteries. So we're going to add another two and a half that will bring it up to 12 and a half pounds. And so as you can see, it's doing quite well. And I see no bending on the, uh, on the slider. So it's doing really well right there. And just uh, for the hell of it, so that's uh, 12 and a half. Another two and a half makes it 15 pounds. If I were to use the uh, AC-DC converter adapter, it would even do more than that. And I'm sure it could even do more than that. So right there we have 15 pounds. This is one and a half, 15, 16 and a quarter pounds. I don't think there's really any necessity to uh, to use the, uh, the the adapter, but uh, if you really needed to, you could add considerable amount more torque with the adapter. Um, so I'm gonna get this uploaded, so you can see what kind of weight it does. Both of them have the same mortar. Actually, this one has a yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, no. This is a different mortar. But the good thing about this is that if you were to buy this and you say you needed more torque, I could actually just replace that mortar with a mortar that has more torque and you don't have to replace the entire slider. So that's the cool thing about it and it's, it's really not that expensive to do that. So that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Um, That's full speed right there. The, the, the higher the speed is, the less torque. But as you can see, it does really well even at that point. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and try to center it because it should start, oops, right at the center. I'm going to go ahead and input the, the, uh, the adapter in there. One thing to keep in mind is that when you use this in this particular model, you should replace, take your batteries out because we're going to only do it for a, a few seconds. You don't really have to do that because in essence, this becomes then a charger. It's feeding battery, it's feeding current toward the back door and so it starts to charge up the batteries. But because it's not an actual charger, if you were to leave the batteries in there for an extended period of time, you could heat those up uh, and you know ruin the batteries. 
Another thing to keep in mind is that when you use ACE, the adapter, this becomes the on and off switch. This switch no longer works because you're feeding electricity towards the back, through the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug it in. And there it goes, it comes on. So other clients that have used the adapter simply have a, they uh, input, they uh, add a uh, switch on this right here, it was what's called an inline switch, where you can just uh, turn it on and off like that. Um, this, there is a modification that I can make to that, so you can use this switch up here, but you know, considering uh, the price level at this, I, I, I don't feel like I could do that for, for at that price level. But anyway, as you can see, it's doing quite well. I'm sure we could even have more weight than that. But, uh, so I'll get this uploaded.